look of the day. So today I'm doing this video for the ones who have a wedding in the family. Your uh, brother's getting married, your sister's getting married, your friend, your best friend's getting uh, married, and you want to look like the sister of the bride or the group or your best friend's friend. Best friend. Okay, whatever. So basically, um, talking about this look, I have done smoky eyes with a tint of bronze in it, and I have done uh, wine lips, and I've done some highlighting, which gives all the glow. I have used one product in this tutorial, which is my product, and I am currently testing that product. I'm just trying it out on myself right now, but before I bring it out to you guys. So um, I'm going to talk about that later. I'm mentioning this because you all might ask me why I have not mentioned, you know, giving you the details of that product in this tutorial. That is the reason why I'm telling you about this. And um, let's get Let's begin. So the first thing I'm going to do is put cello tape on either sides of my eye. Then I'm going to take my Dream Lumi concealer and I'm going to put this on the entire eyelid and blend well. Right after I'm going to use my illuminating setting powder, I'm going to dab that in. Then I'm going to take the shade from my palette and apply this to the crease area. So I'm going to start on building the color. I'm going to use this bronzer from the Sephora Trio Kit and I'm going to build on the color little by little. Next I'm going to take the darker brown from that palette and apply it again in the same area. And now I'm going to use another brush, another eyeshadow brush and just fill the darker brown towards the inner corners of the eye as well and the center I'm going to highlight by putting this uh, woodwing color by MAC so now I'm going to take the crease area brush again and go around uh, you know making the eyeshadow a little bit darker and defined now I'm going to take the cake eyeliner, I'm going to spray a little water on it and then use this near the outer ends of the eye and it should go over the sellotape because that's going to give you like a nice defined line there without using a prominent eyeliner basically. It's going to be a blended winged eyeliner. So I'm going to clean the areas which is near my eyebrow and I'm doing that with a sponge. Now I'm going to take this color from my Becca palette and just going to blend all of the colors that I have already in my crease area with this color. So now I'm done with my eyeshadow and I'll get back to the remaining bit once I'm done with my foundation. So I'm going to be using this color corrector which is in uh, you know brick shade. This is one of my uh, you know highlighters that I made. So I'm using that on my face and then I'm going to be using my Becca foundation all over my face blending it well with a kabuki brush. Right after that I'm going to be using this coral lipstick over a flat kabuki brush and blending this well so that it gives me a nice pink blush effect. So I'm using this over the foundation. I'm going to be setting my makeup, my foundation with my pressed powder by Chanel. Then I'm going on to contouring my face with the bronzer. And there after applying a little bit of my powdered blush over the cheekbone areas. So this is more of a peach, like a coral kind of a color. 
and then I'm going to highlight my areas, uh, my cheekbone areas and all the highlighting areas with my Becca highlighting powder. This is in the shade Moonstone. So now it's time for the eyebrows and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm going to take the highlighting eyeshadow that I used for my eyelid and I'm going to apply this at the lower waterline and then I'm going to take the darker brown from my MAC palette and apply this towards the outer, uh, towards the outer corners of my eye. I'm going ahead and finishing the eye makeup with my mascara. Then I'm going to apply the Nude Cold Pencil by Sephora which really brightens your eye. Finishing it with a wine lipstick. Now this is a very random lip pencil that I used. So you can use anything that matches or whatever you feel is good enough. 